Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to Petit Cavi. One of the main activities of a guinea pig is, you may have guessed it, nibbling. You've probably also noticed that a guinea pig that's not doing well will eat less or stop eating. You'll see in today's video how to help your guinea pig eat when they're sick. So let's get started. As you may already know, guinea pigs have a different digestive system than we do. They need to eat regularly in order to keep their intestinal contents moving. If they don't eat enough or if they stop eating, there'll be an internal slowdown and then a complete stop of the intestinal activity, thus an intestinal blockage and that can and will probably be fatal. It is therefore very important for them to continuously eat. Here are a few tips and tricks that you can do to help your little ball eat when they are not feeling well. Introduce food they like. Offer your guinea pig their favorite foods to stimulate their appetite. Fresh vegetables are a good choice, and if your guinea pig has a preference for cilantro, for example, well, give them more cilantro. This is not a time to give them vegetables they hate. Remember that your goal is to keep their bowels active. I suggest dividing their portions of vegetables during the day so that they can maintain digestive balance. Access to fresh air at all times. Make sure your fur baby has access to fresh air at all times. A handful of fresh hay from the bag is much tastier than hay that has been sitting overnight in their environment. Also, be sure to discard any hay that is soiled as your guinea pig will not eat it. I suggest giving a small handful of fresh hay from the bag at least 4 to 6 times a day. Vary the menu. Hay is the guinea pig's staple food. It provides the necessary fiber for good digestive health and allows for good tooth wear. It's therefore an important food to keep your guinea pig healthy. Offer a variety of hay types such as meadow hay or botanical hay to keep your guinea pig interested in nibbling on hay. I always have two types of hay available, Timothy hay and orchard grass hay, but in order to help puppy who needs to regain weight, I got some alfalfa hay as well. Because alfalfa hay has high calcium content, it is especially recommended for young growing guinea pigs. If your guinea pig is known to have urinary problems, I suggest that you ask your trusted vet for advice before feeding it. Otherwise, alfalfa hay is indicated to help your guinea pig regain their appetite and to help them with their digestion for a determined period of time. Offer treats. Don't be afraid to give your fur baby treats. Your guinea pig's favorite fruits are the best treats. Normally, you would only give a small piece of fruit, no more than three times a week, but since you want to help their appetite, you can make a small exception. You can give a slightly larger piece than usual without going overboard. Fruit is very sweet, so always use it in moderation. Fresh water As you already know, water is a vital element. 
In order to keep your guinea pig healthy, they must remain well hydrated at all times. It is therefore important that they have access to fresh water each and every day at all times. For those who use a water dish, remember to regularly check the water in the dish and refresh it. For those who use the water bottle, even if it looks clean, the water must be replaced every day and the bottle must be cleaned at least 3 times a week. Check and change pellets as needed. Good quality pellets are made of timothy hay and some added vitamins and minerals. A bowl of pellets should be present in their environment at all times to allow them to eat when they want to, especially when they are sick. Remember to refresh their bowl of pellets regularly. If the pellets are left out for more than 3 days, they are less tasty, just like a bowl of chips left on the table for a few hours, so be sure to replace them with fresh ones. Vitamin Supplements A sick guinea pig will recover quicker if they have all the necessary nutrients in their body and they are getting supplementation for any missing. Vitamin C is a great supplement that both humans and guinea pigs need to add to their diet because we both don't produce it naturally. Don't worry, the chances of a sick guinea pig ingesting too much vitamin C are very very slim and if there is an excess, it will be eliminated through the urine, just like humans. Attend and supervise meals. Your presence is very important during your guinea pig's meals. If you have more than one guinea pig, I suggest that you have your sick guinea pig eat away from the group so that you can monitor his or her eating behavior, overall progress, and what he or she has ingested. If possible, find a quiet place for him to eat. Provide emergency food. In order to maintain their intestinal activity, you can give your guinea pig some emergency food. It's possible to make your own emergency food if you don't have commercial food. You need quality pellets specially designed for guinea pigs. I use the one my guinea pigs eat, warm water, and pureed baby fruits or vegetables. It's also possible to make your own fruit or vegetable puree. You mix it all together to get the consistency you want. If your guinea pig is not eating at all, it is suggested feeding them with a syringe every 2-4 to four hours, about 50 milliliters for an adult guinea pig of 1 kilogram of weight. As for me, puppy still has an appetite and I don't need to force her so I spoon feed her until she stops on her own. For your information, I started giving her emergency food as soon as I noticed that her stools were abnormal, they were much smaller, which means that she wasn't eating enough. You can store the rest of the mixture for up to 24 hours in the fridge. If your guinea pig is experiencing sudden or continual weight loss, or if you notice smaller or abnormal stools, don't waste any time and help feed them until they can see a vet. Remember, keeping the digestive internal tract moving at all times is the most important. I hope you find the video useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon for a new one. Bye!